Good evening and welcome to the Wednesday, September 7th, Penfield Town Board meeting. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Would you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, and I'd ask the town clerk to call the roll this evening. Cindy? Here. Draw is absent. Cole? Here. Lee? Here. Ockaden? Here. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll move right into our communication and announcements for this evening. We have a special presentation for um, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and I'd like to ask Holly Dutcher, the Executive Director of Cure Childhood Cancer Association, if she'd be willing to come on up and take a seat at one of the tables. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. Uh, what, I'd like to, what I'd like to do is read the proclamation and then give you an opportunity to address the public. Okay, so we have a proclamation to present uh, for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Whereas the month of September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, during this month, childhood cancer organizations raise awareness and funds in honor and memory of kids with cancer. And whereas cancer does not discriminate impacting even our youngest children, and whereas childhood cancer is a leading cause of death by disease in children, and whereas 46 children per day are diagnosed with cancer in the US according to the American Childhood Cancer Organization, and whereas the number of families impacted by childhood cancer continues to grow, including in our Penfield community, and whereas the town of Penfield is honored to join organizations, families, and individuals around the world as we raise awareness of childhood cancer and honor and remember all those impacted. Now be it resolved, the town of Penfield proclaims September 2022 as Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. And this is dated September 7th, and it's uh, signed by me on behalf of all the town board members here. So I'm gonna walk around and present this to you. If you would like to say a few words, you're more than welcome. Sure, thank you. On behalf of the children in our community and their families that are impacted by childhood cancer, I just wanted to thank the town of Penfield for recognizing that September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. The awareness ribbon for childhood cancer is gold, so I um, provided gold ribbons for all of you and hopefully you'll wear them throughout the month so that local families know that their community supports them and is behind them. Childhood cancer can be a really isolating experience, so we do what we can at Cure Childhood Cancer Association to provide support and to let families know that they're not alone in their battles. By issuing a proclamation like this might seem like something small for a town meeting or something like that, but it really means a lot to our families for them to know that their community supports them, they're not alone, and we're all in this together to do what we can to help them through their difficult times. Holly, thank you so much for being here this evening and, and we appreciate your comments and thank you for the work you do in the community. Well, we couldn't do it without wonderful partners like you guys, so we are very appreciative of this community. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're more than welcome to stay for the meeting, or if, uh, if you have someplace else to be, feel free, you know, whatever you'd like to do. Thank you. Selfishly, it was my son's first day of pre-K today, so I would love to go home and see how it went. <laughs> well, we wish him a fabulous school year. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Thank evening. You. Take Holly, care, Holly. could you spell your last name, please? Sure. It's Dutcher, D-U-T-C-H-E-R. <laughs> Thank you so much. Drive safely. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Take, Take care. care. You too. Uh, we have a number of announcements this evening, and I'd like to start with the town clerk. Okay. So we started uh, collecting tax payments, uh, and we will continue to do that Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. The first installment plan uh, must be made by September 15th. After that time, installment, uh, the installment option will no longer be available. Full tax payments are due by October 3rd. And besides coming into our office, you may also drop your payment in our east entrance mail slot, which is on the right side of the entrance door. Um, 
That's it. Thank you very much. Mr. Ockenden. Thank you. I do have a couple announcements tonight. Uh, the first one is uh, just to let everybody know that the Penfield Volunteer Emergency Ambulance Corps is uh, having their health fair on September 24th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at their base here, 1585 Jackson Road. Uh, this is similar to the event we had last year. I know many of us uh, attended that. It was a great event. I'm um, looking forward to being there again this year. Um, there'll be many things going on at the health fair, blood pressure screening, uh, stop the bleed, CPR demo, uh, their explorer program will be on hand, there'll be fire trucks, uh, there'll be uh, state police will be there as well with a safe child booth, um, flu and tetanus shots will be available, um, and many, many other, uh, other groups. In fact, uh, just a few um, other notes, Penfield High School Robotics will have a booth there as well. Um, there'll be physical therapy groups, chiropractic groups, and, and the list goes on and on. So if you have an opportunity to stop in, again, it's at Penfield Ambulance's base right down the street here, 1585 Jackson Road. Uh, for more information, you can visit their website at www.penfieldambulance.org. And then second, uh, just again, another reminder that there are several employment opportunities uh, currently with the town of Penfield. Um, I won't list them all tonight, but I would encourage you uh, to take a look at the website, www.penfield.org backslash employment. Uh, you can take a look there at, at the numerous uh, positions that are available currently. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Councilperson Cole. Okay. Hi, I have uh, several announcements. I'll start with the art ones. The Penfield Art Association has a fall art show. October 2nd through the 29th, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. Reception, opening and closing, October 2nd to October 29th. And it's held at the Legacy of Willow Pond. So if you'd like more information, go to www.penfieldartassociation.com. The other art news is Art and Craft Fair. And this is a fundraiser for DEER, the Daytime Education and Recreation Program. And that's Saturday, November 5th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m and stop by for handmade crafts and pot, jewelry, clothing, fine art, and many more. Applications of information are available if you want to be a vendor because they're looking for vendors, and you go to penfieldrec.org. The third one is what's coming up um, starting next week, and that is the 45th annual used book sale, September 13th through the 17th at the community center. And the Friends of the Penfield uh, library put this on you can come and bring your own bring your reusable bag for bag days and um, you know after that <clears throat> there's um at the end of it you can um, come and get a lot of, of books but anyway if you want more information go to the Penfield public library dot org but the 13th it starts and it's always very well attended so get there early and regarding the library I wanted to also announce, and I have this on my phone, I don't have a, a piece of paper to read off of, is um, if you don't know, the Penfield Public Library is celebrating 80 years. So 1942, they um, started a, as an actual official public library. There have been libraries around Penfield for many years, but they've become... Anyway, so 80-year celebration, they have some things happening. They're ever, they are celebrating this year, September 18th to the 23rd, with an Instagram challenge for all ages. Uh, that'll be the grand opening for the, when the library was held in a tiny house on Liberty Street. And since then, they want to, um, for the challenge, take up to five pictures of yourself, a friend, and family members holding a library book in front of your favorite location in Penfield, and then post your picture to Penfield Library Celebrates 80 anytime during that month of September. And there will be prizes awarded for best photography, interesting location, unique use of book and a photo. So that's a fun one for all ages. And there's family celebration, a story, Lori on the Lawn. It takes place 1.30 to 3 on Sunday, September 18th. This is for kids of all ages. And award-winning children's performer, Story Lori, brings her her fun family concert of tales and tunes to the Penfield Library and as part of the celebration. And, and there'll be treats and activities 
that will take place as well. And then there's an 80th anniversary book discussion, A Forager's Life by Sarah Gominski, 2 o'clock to 3.30 on Thursday, September 22nd. This is another book that was written in 1942, or about 1942, I should say. It wasn't written in 42. It, but the movie night, 80th anniversary movie night, shall be Casablanca, 6.30, uh, Thursday, September 22nd. And that is made in 1942. So uh, Ollie, um, um, one last one, 80th anniversary celebration afternoon tea party. And this is the on Friday, September 23rd at 2. And this is the Friday Club was formed by nine women who first met in 1939 as a, at a social and literacy group. And the club was the nucleus of the group which met in 1941 to form the library. So you, you join and hear from the current Penfield Friday Club members and library staff as they celebrate the founding of the Penfield Library in February 1942. You see photos of the first members who are responsible. You enjoy tea, scones, and lively discussion. So all these things you can register, you have to register for, and they're at uh, um, on the Penfield Public Library website, or you can go in and register, or you can <laughs> um, call. I know I did it through a QR code. They have these um, flyers, which I don't have tonight, but a QR code that you can just sign up all through that, too. So please, please come and celebrate. It's going to be a great time to celebrate our Penfield Public Library. Thank you. Thank you, Councilperson Lee. Good evening. The town will be hosting drop-off days for household hazardous waste as well as residential recycling Saturday, September 17th from 7.45 to noon. Please check the Monroe County and town website for additional information. The residential recycling days will be hosted on September 30th and October 1st. Items accepted include metals and appliance recycling, brush disposable disposals, no leaves or grass, clothing and linens, bottles and cans. More information, again, is available on the town website. On Saturday, September 24th at 1 p.m., the town is elated to host the Shadow Pine celebration that will showcase some of the development as well as um, open space and new plans for this area. Again, Saturday, September 24th, beginning at 1 p.m. Finally, as fall approaches, deer management permits are available for um, application. All licensed hunters age 12 and older can apply for deer management permits up to two within the same wildlife management unit. Applications can be completed at town hall or any retail license sales agent. If completed in person, the, pr the tags are provided immediately. If completed online or by phone, it, the process can take two to three weeks. There is a $10 non-refundable application fee for all applicants. More information is available on the town website. Thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, have, have a few announcements. The first is pertaining to this weekend. We have uh, the rec department is hosting Taste in the Blues. That's uh, Saturday, September 10th from 12 to 3 at the Penfield Amphitheater and Kiwanis Stage at Veterans Memorial Park. That is our annual chili contest. Um, there will be some food concession and uh, local beer samples as well. And feel free to... Um, also bring your your companion, your dog, for Dogs Day Out. There are free activities for dogs and their humans. Also Saturday, September 10th from 12 to 2. Same place, the Veterans Memorial Park near the Penfield Amphitheater. So that should be a fun day if you're looking for something to do this weekend and hopefully the weather will hold. Uh, one final announcement is that the local history room is welcoming their new local history room director, Anna Jarvis, with an open house on September 25th from 2 to 4 p.m. Um, I do not have a visual for that, uh, but there will be information coming out uh, through the town website. So just mark your calendar for that if you would like to meet our new local history room coordinator, Anna Jarvis. Okay. I believe that concludes our communications and announcements for the evening. 
We will then start with our first public participation session. This is a chance for citizens to comment on anything uh, they would like to reach us. You can speak in person. You can call us by phone at 340-8771, or you may reach us online at www.penfield.org. And I'd like to ask if there are any people in the audience who wish to speak. Dr. Loveless? No. Okay. I'm not seeing anyone online. And do we have any phone calls? Okay, thank you very much. We'll conclude this portion of public participation. <laughs> Moving on to any additions or deletions to the agenda. No? All right, seeing none, we'll move on to the approval of minutes. I'd like to move the minutes in executive session for August 3rd and August 17th. Okay, I do want to clarify that the August 3rd minutes are the general minutes from public session. August 3rd, regular 17th. Executive. Thank you so much. I have a motion by Councilperson Cole. Do I have a second? Second. And a second by Councilperson Lee. Are there any questions or comments? Okay. Cindy. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockaden. Aye. Four ayes. Thank you. I'd like to ask the board or the town clerk if they have received any petitions since our last Not meeting. All right, seeing none, we'll move right into our resolutions by function. Budget amendments in the general fund for recreation. So moved. Second. Whereas increased registrations and attendance for programs at the recreation department require an increase in the appropriations playgrounds youth account from the program fees collected, and whereas the town board desires to have an up-to-date budget in relation to current appropriations and revenues. Now be it resolved that the following 2022 budget amendments be approved. Uh, there are four of them from revenue to appropriations. Uh, judo at the amount of $10,000. Soccer programs, $10,000. Sports, $35,000. And specialty, $30,000. Okay, thank you very much. And I have a, a motion by Councilperson Ockenden with a second by Councilperson Cole. Are there any questions from the board? All right, seeing none. Cinti. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockenden. Aye. Four ayes. Budget amendment to the general fund for PCTV uh, DAS New York grant revenue. So moved. Second. Whereas the town of Penfield was awarded a state and municipal facilities program grant through Senator Samra Brook for the purchase of technology and equipment for the Penfield community television in the amount of $84,000. And whereas this grant is being administered through the Dormitory Authority of the State of New York, DASNY, and whereas the Town Board desires to have an up-to-date budget in relation to current income and expenditures. Now be it resolved that the following 2022 budget amendment be approved, and that is uh, due from New York State, $20,023 uh, to cable television equipment, same amount. Thank you. I have a motion by Councilperson Ockenden with a second by Councilperson Lee. Before we vote, I would just like to thank Senator Brook for her support of this program. Um, are there any questions? What was the cable television equipment? Um, has that already been discussed? It has. It was discussed at a previous work session. And Barbara, I'm not sure if... I'm sorry, Barbara, could you come and um, the answer through the microphone? Sorry. Thank you, I'm sorry. Sure. Um, yes, in August, you the town board awarded for um, equipment for Dave that is from DASNY. So what I'm doing is just appropriating the anticipated revenue from DASNY now that everything has been, this portion has been ordered. So I'll be doing that as we proceed along once we get once we do bids and know what they're going to be, then I put in how much money it is. So to offset his regular budget. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Most welcome. All right. Cindy. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockenden. Aye. Four ayes. 
Setting a public hearing to consider revised site plan and special use permit for K2 Brothers Brewing located at 1221 Empire Boulevard. So moved. Second. Whereas an application has been received by the Penfield Town Board for the issuance of a revised site plan and special use permit pursuant to Penfield Town Code section 250-5.9 dot B-1 to allow for existing interior space to be converted to event space, the construction of a second story deck with enclosed patio space below, and related site improvements at K2 Brothers Brewing located at 1221 Empire Boulevard. This is located in the LaSalle's Landing District. Now therefore be it resolved that the Penfield Town Board is best suited to act as lead agency within the meaning of the State Environmental Quality Review Act and thus does hereby designate itself as lead agency pursuant to CECRA and has classified this proposal as a type two action. And be it further resolved that the Town Board of the said Town of Penfield shall conduct a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall, 3100 Atlantic Avenue on September 21st, 2022 at 7 p.m on said date to consider the proposed revised site plan and special use permit and to hear all persons interested in the application and be it further resolved that a public hearing notice shall be published at least once in the official newspaper of the town. The first publication thereof to be not less than five nor more than 20 days before the date set for said hearing as aforesaid. A copy of the public hearing notice shall be posted on the official signboard of the town as prescribed by law. Thank you, I have a motion by Councilperson Ockenden with a second by Councilperson Cole. Um, I would just like to remind everyone that for the, if they wish to speak on this project, that the public hearing September 21st, that's two weeks from today. And um, I'd also like to say that it should be 6.30 p.m. That's our start time. I will let the author know. Um, did you want to do that as an amendment? Yeah, so we'll have to vote for that. Yeah, okay, okay. so, um, well, we can actually move it um, by Councilperson Ockenden with a second by Councilperson Cole as with the amendment of a 6.30 start time. Yeah. Yes. Cinti? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Akadin. Aye. Four ayes. Setting rate for reimbursement of mileage. So moved. Second. Be it resolved that pursuant to Town Board Resolution Number 288 of May 1st, 1978, which sets a policy regarding reimbursement to town officials and employees who travel by private vehicle on town business, that the rate of reimbursement will be the optional standard mileage rate as established by the Internal Revenue Service with tolls and parking in addition to mileage allowance. Be it further resolved, mileage will only be reimbursed in instances where a town vehicle is not available and with pre-approval of the town supervisor. Okay, we have a motion by Councilperson Ockenden with a second by Councilperson Lee. Are there any questions about this? Okay. Cinti. Aye. Lee. I'm sorry, Cole. <laughs> Aye. Lee. Um, sorry, I did have one question. Is the policy going to be available for review prior to adoption? Well, we um, the the rate just changed with by the IRS, and we set this at our organizational meeting. But because it changed mid-year, we just adopt that. Um, is there something posted that we can show people what the rate is? I'm going to have to ask you. I'm so sorry if you could. <laughs> I, I, I was just thinking. I thought. I thought the rate we had the rate in the resolution. It's yeah. It's so that's my uh, okay. So it, it's just the only change is to adopt the increased rate. Correct. And so the policy is as we reviewed, no other changes. Correct. It's just okay. the increase in the rate. And then it's something set by statute. Correct. Okay. That, it is. Thank you. All right. Uh, I am ready to vote again, Amy. Okay. Well, I'll just. Start over. Cinti. <laughs> well, I just want to clarify one oh, thing yes. also is that um, rather than say a specific rate and every time that the IRS had said it something different, we'd have to change it. Right. This just says it follows the IRS. Correct. Correct. Okay. Cinti. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Akadin. Aye. Four ayes. 
Authorization to sign a supplemental agreement number one to contract number D014898 for snow and ice control services between the town of Penfield and New York State Department of Transportation. So moved. Second. Whereas the town of Penfield has an existing contract with the New York State Department of Transportation for snow and ice control services, and whereas a final snow and ice voucher for the 2021-2022 season was $35,972.66 more than the original estimated expenditure, and whereas the town desires to be made whole for the actual cost of snow and ice removal on New York State Department of Transportation roads. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the supervisor be and hereby is authorized to sign a supplemental agreement, number one to the said contract, for snow and ice control services between the town of Penfield and the New York State DOT for the dates July 1, 2021 through June 30th, 2022. This agreement is to be reviewed and approved by the town attorney. Okay, I have a motion by Councilperson Lee with a second by Councilperson Ockenden. Any questions about this? Okay. Cindy. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockenden. Aye. Four ayes. Okay, I believe that concludes our resolutions by function. Is there any old business before the board? And any new business before the board? Okay, we are now at our second public participation section for the evening. To again, you can speak in person by phone at 340-8771 or online, you can reach us at penfield.org. Again, I'm gonna ask if there's anyone who would like to speak. Okay, any calls, Dave? All right, uh, we do have a an executive session scheduled for this evening, so I would like to move pursuant to Public Officers Law 105 that we go into executive session to discuss matters related to collective negotiations under the Taylor Law and discussions related to the employment uh, history of a particular person. I'll second that. Okay, and I do have a second. Can we please just roll call vote? Sure. Cindy, Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockenden. Aye. Four ayes. All right. We stand adjourned uh, for executive session.
Good evening. I wanted to just announce that uh, the town board is back from executive session at 7.47 p.m. and we will enter back into our regular meeting at 7.48. Um, we, this actually concludes our meeting. Our next legislative session will be September 21st, 2022, and we will adjourn this meeting at 7.48 p.m. Thank you. And thanks to PCTV and to Greg for their service this evening.